Michael Strahan's daughter Isabella is cancer-free after brain tumor diagnosis. Michael Strahan and his family have an incredible reason to celebrate after his daughter Isabella announced she is cancer-free. The 19-year-old was diagnosed in October 2023 with a rare cancerous brain tumor called metalloblastoma, which starts in the lower back part of the brain that controls coordination and movement. But on July 18, she shared the happy news that after an eight-month battle, she has been given the all-clear. Taking to her YouTube channel, Isabella explained that she went for her last MRI scan at Duke Children's Hospital and Health Center in Durham, North Carolina, and it went great. Support this channel. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It was a great, great scan, she said. Everything was clear. Cancer-free and everything is great. I don't have another doctor's appointment until October. She added, I miss my doctors already and everyone who's helped me because they're all so nice. I feel like I'm just saddened today knowing that I wasn't going to be going back for a while because I love them so much. So that was my last hospital vlog until October. Isabella confirmed that she will continue vlogging other subjects, such as her move back into college and more life updates. Isabella received her last cancer treatment in June after going through six weeks of radiation, four rounds of chemotherapy, and three brain surgeries. We're leaving New York today to go to North Carolina for my last treatment. Yay! She said on her vlog. I'm so excited because it's the last time, hopefully ever. She added, Jealous of people who don't have to do this, but at least it's almost over, and praying for those who have to go through it. The college student shared her diagnosis during an interview with Robin Roberts on Good Morning America. Her dad held her hand as she broke down in tears while speaking about her health journey. I didn't notice anything was off till probably like October 1, she told Robin, sharing that her first symptoms were simply headaches, though they then evolved into nausea and she couldn't walk straight. Things took a turn for the worse later that month, and she recalled, I woke up probably at like 1 p.m. I dreaded waking up, but I was throwing up blood. After her father promptly encouraged her to go to the doctor and have a round of tests done, they discovered a fast-growing 4-centimeter tumor, larger than a gold ball, in the back of her head. Michael then confessed to Robin, I don't really remember much, adding, I just remember trying to figure out how to get to LA ASAP, and it just doesn't feel real. It just didn't feel real.